What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we've been fighting against the French down here in Nor in a, uh, South America. And I am continuing to push my way down to secure the coast. And I probably want to turn and take uh, Mexico. Well, I want to try and get this, this army here in New Orleans um, expanded and marched up to Santa Fe to secure that. I'd like to send this army down here to go take Mexico City and use that to broker a peace with New Spain. I could probably put a fort on the coast to hold them in. Russia is sat there waiting, waiting for us to do something. We could just... I mean, their fleet down here is quite weak. I should really be building up ships down here, but I'm not for whatever reason. Um, okay, let's keep up with my expansion you can't upgrade in top top level roads uh son augustine's probably good territory to upgrade the government building of governor's residence okay so the next action i'm going to be looking at is when these guys replenish they're going to push down south and hit cayenne to open up more avenues for resources to join uh, our empire and also where's that fifth rate there it is ramilies go join this backup fleet which is quite weak but whatever uh, might even send send them into raid breast just to break whatever ships are being built i don't want to send them east into the channel Okay, let's hit end turn. See, my spy's on his way down to Mexico City. The Spanish have sent a navy west, so they could. Yeah, and they have. So maybe the army that's down on the Windward Islands, they're going to sail north to fight that Spanish fleet. Well, not, not, not the Spanish fleet, the Spanish army, because I don't really have a fleet in the Americas. I've kind of... Uh, let that fall by the wayside. Um, I was meant to try and upgrade Cuba, the Cuban dockyard, to be a bit more potent. Okay, Moogles, are you going to deploy and fight anyone that's not me? Hopefully the answer is yes. I do want to grow an army in Britain to come and fight the Spaniards as well. The new town emerges in the Ness. Have another industrial building. And New Haven. Okay, so what I like to do in New Haven is to build a school. Which will probably mean I might have to knock that down and build a happiness building. Just to stop them from getting too upset. Because yeah, that'll, that'll we'll lose quite a lot of goodwill. And granted, I've not upgraded the town very much at all. Actually, that's no, don't worry about that yet. I can upgrade the conservatorium. And there's lots of short-term things I can do. Some traits have been gained. Rights of man has been researched, which is pretty good. But so is national debt to reduce upkeep across the board. Okay, is this when I upgrade both of these to modern universities? It takes a lot of money. add a second rate ship of a line here and probably oh so many units so many cool units british fusiliers grenadiers swiss line so the knock volley gun is like i mean they don't, they don't have a volley gun modeling game but you remember if you've ever seen sharp and there's a lot of history down here but it being a naval weapon it's a seven barreled volley gun that fires pistol balls which is pretty awesome but if i'm gonna start to build an army down here to fight the spanish i'll buy, buy a unit of fusiliers with excellent accuracy 57 accuracy that's just basic compare that to compare that to a basic line infantryman 40 so 110 46 16 8 so these guys have got worse morale, melee defense, but better 
ac much better accuracy, better attack, and be better morale. It's morale 10 rather than morale 8. So they aren't as handy in the melee combat as you'd expect, because they are fusiliers. They are exceptionally potent in the ranged battle. But let's hit end turn. Oh, I didn't move that army northward from the my island. Dang, Nabbit. Uh, let's also that. There's no buildings they should immediately feel the need to destroy. I mean, the sloop. Let's see if the sloop can take him out. No. If it draws their fleet away, that'll be even better. Which it has. They're going to uh, leave that territory exposed to sink one sloop. Oh, they captured her. I thought it said she was captured, but I guess not. Oh, you're going to raid Cuba, eh? Yeah, they're still trying to spread Catholicism. So the Ottomans are quite powerful in Central Europe. Sooner or later, they will go to war with the Prussians. And I probably would join them. Fundamentally, I don't think it would be the smart call to just abandon Prussia. Because all that would happen is that they would push north anyway. Unless Prussia beat them, which they don't... Which they may or may not win. And the Barbaries are going to Barbary. Okay, so we've infiltrated in Mexico. Some good stuff going on here. New town emerges in Upper Canada. Temptation is to turn you into a religious building to try and annoy all these Catholics. Because they are converting you pretty hard. Yeah, let's build one. Just so that if they leave, then our priests go to work. So now I've left it an extra turn. These guys... Minus one. They'll complain, but not be angry. So let's see. If I move you over here... You are are still within range. You are still within range. Yes, sir. Hop across, because we have sea control. Embark my troops. Deposit them off the coast. That will invite these new Spaniard ships to come and attack them, but they are free to do so. I mean, I could... Oh, they're not... They can't safely get into any harbour, but I'm tempted to... I may as well not sell them anywhere. I just blockade the port. Okay. Fleet destroyed. That was, wasn't really a fleet. It was a, it was a sloop. Ooh, Essek Kitchener died. Barnabas Newcomb. Plus one treasury. Plus one management. Plus one justice. Now, my Treasury and Justice Ministers are doing great. Navy Minister could be better. To be honest, I might just put him in the Navy section. Even though he's got lots of other unhappy, not-so-great trades with, traits with him. In terms of the manage... Oh, no, I can't, because he's my... I'm a constitutional monarchy. I've been playing his... Absolute monarchies for too long. Okay, let's punt the navy guy away. Oh, Eugene Hale. Industrial revolutionary. Eh. Add some seconds onto the ticket. Let's add fusiliers, fusiliers. Get four fusiliers recruited. It wasn't really an army, it was more of a small garrison. We do just have loads of stuff to just to just upgrade. That's all there is to it. Like we don't even we've got new. We've got top tier roads that would be pretty good to upgrade. I think I'm just going to upgrade all my 
all my plantation stuff first and upgrade you to a steam pumped mine to get more of an immediate money boost. Although is there anyone we can trade with now? I mean Denmark was didn't want to trade with us before. It's a crew unit of line. Because it would be nice to go knock out Mexico and try and get a peace treaty, but I would probably need to knock out Santa Fe first to get the momentum going. So you need a bit of expansion, and then you'll head west. Down here at Paramaribo. Can you guys leave? You can. March down, put Cayenne under siege, and boot those ships out of port. I do... I am now going to struggle a bit. Okay, let's... Mm. Do not have any spare ships to go and block up Antigua. And I can't recruit any this turn either. Bit of a bummer, but there we are. Go on. Go hit my sloop. Blep. At least we're picking them apart. Yeah, they've gone back to Garrison Newfoundland and they're actually going to upgrade the city. Oh no, they're repairing it, sorry. They just they just captured it. They're repairing the building. They're not necessarily upgrading it. Try it, Mughal Empire. Because right now, you're the, you're my guy. We're allied. If you break your alliance with me... I mean, <clears throat> junk army. You're going to die anyway, because you're, you're about to run out of... You're about to run out of territories to hide in. Two twelve pound of foots to join them. Two thirds, and should probably recruit some fourths as well, because fourths are still good. New port emerges, Belfast. There we go, Belfast can have a shipyard. Let's run this militia up to occupy, or well not occupy, garrison the shipyard. Although, no doubt, if I have any Irish listeners, they would probably chuckle and say occupied's about right. Maintain siege for now. I've got stuff to do while I'm while I'm active and thinking about it. You upgrade your sugar plantation. Upgrade your roads. Upgrade your port. Upgrade your thing to the government chambers because at least that's the end. And plus, it gives us a massive boost to tax income, and it's a very valuable region. It might actually be. I mean, England's still my most valuable by far. Then it's East Prussia, Ireland, Scotland, Paramaribo, outside of Europe, Paramaribo's it. Konigsberg is actually much wealthier than I gave it credit for, although it is growing really quick, as well as so is discontent in England. So let's go back and cancel something I've been, build I've been about to build. Upgrade the coaching in. You need secular humanism to upgrade that, which we're not going to get for a while. We have no more towns in London, so that's it. But at the very least, they're now beginning to be upset when we... Oh, Jesus. I <laughs> So much stuff I haven't done. <laughs> okay, that was a waste of a turn. Okay, first thing I'm going to do go and attack that Spanish territory to the northeast and go and attack Paramaribo. I'm not going to do any building, I was just on autopilot then. Gah, how frustrating. But yeah, I'm going to go fight those two battles right off the bat.
I'm curious to see what the Moogles do. Don't go and land in Scotland either. Okay, first thing I'm going to do. Second thing I'm going to do. Go to sloop to get the gentleman from Jamaica. First thing I'm going to do. This guy. Let's go and attack these Spaniards that thought they could take our territory from us. As well as go and attack Cayenne and bring the only pet the only spice plantation outside of the West Indies and India into the fold. Precious, precious spices. Okay, guns are gonna decide to stop snowing. No, it hasn't. Guns are gonna be sat at the back, firing at range. Infantry line is going to push up into the town. I'm going to group my yeomanry together because they are fundamentally weak. My pikes are going to go through the town, definitely. Regiment of horse go around the flank with my general. I mean, I, oh, I was about to say, I bet I can't do that, but I can. So who's over on this flank? Gorillas. The Regiment of Horse and Line Cavalry. They will beat my yeomanry. But my Regiment of Horse will beat their guerrillas. Okay, my infantry will run because they're all getting into position quickly. My demi cannons instead shoot at the. Regiment of Horse, not their artillery. My Regiment of Horse and my Cavalry come up. Because we'd beat these... Would we beat the Carab... Carabineros Real? They look like they are, they are skirmish cavalry still, so our line... Our Regiment of Horse should still be good. Their infantry is going to be without bayonets. Okay, so my regiment of horse are going to hit the Spanish cavalry there. My general is going to go hit the guerrillas. And then hopefully fold around. Keep my yeomanry close. In the event they charge. Or keep them moving at least. Yeah, my pikemen are running as well. Yes, they are. Good. We finally started to see a routing flag over here. My general died. <laughs> Naturally. As is tradition. So you guys charge the line cavalry. Change the artillery to hit the regimental de Sophia. Commit your cavalry. Nah. Be ready. Tertio pikemen. Gun your men reload as fast as you can, because the tertio pikemen are starting to wander in. I 
mean, these guys are charging the complete wrong direction. So you hit them in the flank. Oh, ignore that unit there. You're upset because you're being shot at in the flank. That's understandable. So my best hope with these tertiary appointment is to surround and engulf. My pikemen were wavering after they lost 50 men. If you guys want to waver, that's completely fine. I want these guys to break first. Although I might just charge you in, rather than standing there getting shot. both been committed so now my infantry can set up here and shoot down into the 34th. Oh, these poor gunners are coming in. They're coming back at least. You men charge the pikes, my pikemen charge the, the general. There we go. Now we can give their horses a bit of a tickle. My artillery engage the 34th regiment. Come on, men. See them off. Where is the general, general? I can't see him, I must be blind. Yeah, there we go. That's the 34th routing. Yeah, bit of a messy one. Hey. Regimento de Sevilla. Back you go. You men go in and charge the 25th, although they're routing without even being in combat. Well, they're wavering without even being in combat. There they go. Bit of a messy one, that was. Not a great battle. But I'll still take it as a, uh, as a good victory. So we lost my general. So we can now get another... Timothy Sutton. Good old Timothy S. Forward! <laughs> no, that's a bit obvious. Just call him T. Sutton. Uh, okay. So I've got a new school. Let's upgrade it to a college. Upgrade both of these things at the same time. New Haven, get to work on cadenced marching. So the army's starting to get built in England. To get ready to land either against Paris or do we sail around and take Morocco? That would be a bit of a surprise for them, wouldn't it? I suppose I should keep building it a bit. Just add on to it like that. Two Swiss Grenadiers. 
and on two fourths. Yeah, me men are still sneaking around. You guys, ooh, get some Hessian grenadiers. And then let's do some farmland upgrades because they're pretty, while they're pretty basic, they do provide a reasonable what baseline of cash. Doesn't mean we have no money, which might be a problem when we go to attack Cayenne. Because we don't have, any, now we don't have any money to repair anything. But that's okay. We are producing a good amount of cash per turn. Okay, I would like this army to go take Mexico. Take Mexico, take New Spain, take out the Pueblo Nations and have a bit of a more of a contiguous continental US. Okay, good position up here for artillery. So again, let's have the Highlanders be at the center of our line. Line infantry on one flank, Marines and infantry and Hessian grenadiers on the other outside of outside of the artillery. My militia are going to hunker back here with Rogers Rangers. Okay, so they're all they are all coming in behind each other. So let's advance. So the gunners focus on the mounted tribal auxiliary. The infantry to run, and with the idea being that they all they can recover once they're in position. Although well, you guys won't make it there before the tribal auxiliary, so you guys might have new different orders like this. If I have to, I'll dump them into square, I'm not afraid. No, you guys do want to stay in square. Send my militia up to back them up. The rest of my line is formed up in good order and will see the enemy off without too much bother. See, there says they're winning because they're fighting against militia. Hey, they hit Rogers Rangers as well. Get you guys out of there. You guys ignore this sort of stuff. The 78th are engaging the Firelock Arm citizenry. There we go. Militia. You guys form square because it looks like you're going to get hit by. Oh, not yet. Get the militia to follow them. Here comes the tribal auxiliary. Oh, they just, they were just tickling him. These poor souls aren't going to stand up to our battle line. Native Bowman Auxiliary might be a bit of a 
There we go. Expect these men to kill a good amount of militia. Um, but that's okay. Militia men are expendable. You guys need to run up into the faces of those bowmen. One of our gunners aim at them, the other aim at maybe the Hessian on the flank. Form square, because they're about to just touch you. That's right. Come into the square. Or not. You guys actually run up there. Oh god! Frenchmen! Look at all these militia sat there forming a nice queue. You guys fire into the backs of the Hessian line. There's another bow unit. There we go, you've taken out that infantry unit that was causing problems. Get our artillery to bombard in the centre of the Hessian line. shouldn't be doing too well. Let's give them some artillery support because the terrain looks not favourable. Sooner or later we'll get the general. The native bowmen are going under. So the 78th are advancing. You guys should do a number on that native bowman auxiliary. Good, that general's been killed. And these skirmishes should be doing some real damage. So I mean, you men push up. Those Frenchmen have routed. Expect them to maybe come back. Maybe you guys go after the militia there. You guys go after that tribal auxiliary to the rear. Yeah, you guys are firing. It's not a complete... Not everyone's firing. Although they think going around this side of the house is going to be any better for them, they can uh, think again. Yeah, there we go. There's another bow unit. Well, they came back. They've both come back. You guys set up in the middle. Well, to be nice, let's just do a general pullback. We need to maximise our firepower, not dilute it when you're fighting bowmen without cavalry. So much so, let's tag them with a artillery battery each. Put 
between all three of you, you should take out that one native bow unit. There we go. See, we fell back to a more advantageous position and it worked. So then both my guns engage the tribal auxiliary back here and there's a garrison and militia back here as well. So let's get my militia up, my front line also up here. Are you men firing or you're reloading? Soon it will not be long before they are falling back. The native Bowman Auxiliary, some survive. All my guns focus on that bow unit. Speed up time a little bit. Let's set up our line real quick and dirty, but something just to pour a bunch of fire into the native troops. Especially as they aren't loaded. Some of them aren't, anyway. None of them are. There we go. Cavalry, uh, the uh, militia has had enough. Everyone just run. Hello. Okay, all my gunners engage the tribal auxiliary to the rear. Try run my uh, rangers up to try and get into position in that house. You're all my artillery aim of the tribal auxiliary. Native musketman... musketman auxiliary. Yeah, bowmen can be dangerous. Let's see if my rangers can run run the gauntlet to that house in the centre, because that would be quite a cool position for them to take. That's right, get inside. Get inside, there's no time. Get her in. My militia are experienced compared to theirs. go you men understandably one routed because that's what they do in the face of bow fire there you go these men loading and firing from the window oh there's a unit behind them mean you guys to charge in but now you're in but yeah fundamentally you don't want to fight the native factions without cavalry because you can see it makes it that much more of a frustrating 
activity. Yeah, let's get in. Everyone charge the native Bowman Auxiliary. The time for skill and nuance is over. They can try and retreat as much as they like, but soon, well, our bayonets will join. They might have little hatchets, but we've got lands with pointy sticks. And they are dropping like flies. There they go. Did they come back? Silly buggers. There we go, we fought our way across the entire map. <laughs> and it's finally over. Finally, finally over. There goes the thousand men. That's quite a. That's quite a lot. Um, and you guys will march on and just to kill him with whatever replenishment you can get done. This guy can recruit three men. Okay, that's them done. We've spent all our money. Let's hit end turn. Oh, the French are up to something. Can't make it back to the home port. Don't worry, Russia. We're going to deal with you as well. I mean, they've got lots of troops. Trouble if this army is probably going to. That navy is probably going to go and pick up an army. Fundamentally, that's probably what's going to happen. And when it does, we need to be ready to make our move. Okay, London's got its military academy. It's put a great parliament, and that does mean we get new cool research things. But I can't do any yet. So lower Louisiana, I mean, this is probably good enough now. Well, I think I'd like you to get... Two guns and a howie. There we go. Lots of <laughs> resource upgrades. Belfast has got its shipyard. Let's build a fifth rate while you're upgrading. Oh, I could build HMS Victory. I mean, I've kind of got to, haven't I, right? <laughs> Is it Spain? Oh, this this navy sailed all the way back from North America to come and hit me and be frustrating. Ha! Huh. Who knew? But I can send my little backup fleet. Take him out! Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, two damaged fifth rates. God! Yeah, they're experienced fifth rates, though. Trait gained. He's a drunkard. Okay, there we go. So, Sloop. Actually, let's take a fifth rate. Awaiting further orders. Let's get my gentleman aboard ship. Actually, let's get him up here. Where he can be of more immediate help. Okay, so upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. We've got a whole bunch of stuff we can upgrade pretty much everywhere. So we'll upgrade a handful of farms again, just because I like farming upgrades. We've also got road upgrades we can get, because road up well, not anymore, we don't. You will get get into battle soon, my friend. Don't worry. You're going to finish off that little army there. Get back to the city. Don't replenish or rebuild. Just replenish as many men as you can. Cool. 
So two turns. Well, okay, next turn we can start to do some more research. Let's not worry about that yet. Hmm. <laughs> now this is the game. Do I declare? Do I bring everyone in? I think I've got to because they are. So the Mughals, the United Provinces, and the Ottomans didn't join me. No one joined Russia, but Prussia did join. That's the important thing. The important thing is Prussia joined them. Joined the war. Because it means they can't just focus on funneling troops down to our to our front line. I don't remember if Sweden joined or if I even called them in. Or if I could. I think I was at war with... They were allied with George, I think. Protestant missionary in Upper Canada. Good stuff. Okay, let's get you to... New England, I suppose. Alliance broken between us and the Mughals, us and the Ottomans, and us and the United Provinces. Take advance. Punch card loom. Good tech research, but then go on to new model bayonet drill, because that gets us Royal British Grenadier Guards and Line Infantry Guards, which is pretty awesome. Okay, we have a full navy here. I mean, it looks, these are all just not good ships. I'm not at war with them, so I'm not going to attack their fleet ships at sea. Eh, how are you feeling? You're a bit happy, but you're about to get plus three unhappiness, so let's upgrade you to a theatre. Okay, get some upgrades. You're going to, Page Miss Victory is going to be my flagship, but I'm going to build a first rate ship of a line to make sure I trigger the event and that everyone knows it's me. Okay, so lots of cavalry. I'm going to take these militia to join my army. Put the Algarve under siege for now. Vilnius, upgrade the military academy. And start to recruit some line infantry for reinforcements. Konigsberg, recruit some hussars for cavalry. You can... Do I upgrade the Great Arsenal here as well? Well, I think I upgrade you to an Ordnance Factory. So you're pretty strongly Catholic. Let's move you west just to make sure we do convert you. One thing that has happened is we need to take you guys, get them aboard ship. Get them down to Kingston. Yeah, they got some good troops, make no doubt. They do have some good troops. Disembark my army. Let's go and engage the Russians once more, because we know they've they've kicked they've they've blown the whistle and we're off again. This is yeah, well, yeah. They've blown the whistle. And we're in a much better position. We've got a lot more money coming in per turn now so that we can actually get some quite good troops, especially if I... Well, I, I am going to continue to attack Spain. If I take Paris, it might... They might be tempted to try and make peace. Okay, let's put the Hessian line on our right flank. Anchored against the town. Our regular line and the King's 33rd are going to hold our left. The bolt, actually all of our cavalry is going to be on the left because that's where the space is. We're going to put some pikemen on the right to provide a bit of support there. Pikes in the centre. Skirmishers are also going to be on the left. General's going to join the cavalry. might be advantageous for you guys to push up to the next line of hills. So we are being joined by some reinforcements.
and it might be smart to do something like that. It's got a general and another militia unit spawning in behind their lines. But my general likes the look of that weak whole regiment of horse. easier to pick everyone and say get them into square formation rather than going eh, is it them is it not them get my pikes into the town ready to go and set those hussars Bring our cavalry to bear. They've been dealt with. General's bodyguard, get out of the way. Regiment of horse, get out of the way. You and the 33rd foot. Form line. Okay, we've got... We are overmatched on the right flank, so let's push. You continue to chase their cavalry around. These militia get up onto the flank of the marines. There we go, you guys keep running. Run around the flank. Regiment of horse, get out of the way. Very nice of them to charge my pikemen. Let's charge them with cavalry, keep my general's bodyguard on the move. They suck, they hoovered up that volley. Skirmishers begin picking up that line infantry unit. The militia also join the fight. Those militia are looking a bit, well, will be looking a bit peaky in a moment. Just got a lot of cavalry, that's what they've That's how they've been able to get away with all these sorts of sneaky attacks. Hand more to company firing, that's scary. You guys halt firing, I'm getting pulling my pikemen back. The regiment of foot just charged in. Yeah, hand mortars are they're difficult to get up to close up to close range, but they're funny when you do. Get a regiment of horse to go after those marines as well. Because my militia and my light cavalry have done pretty good, although I think they've been picked at by Rogers Rangers as well even though they are really close to some enemy units.
There we go. So you guys continue to chip away at the foot line infantry there. You go after the Marines. The Colonial Light Infantry, on the other hand, Colonial Light Cavalry, go after some of those pikemen. Too bad they've got within range of... within uh, piking distance of, Roger, of Roger's Rangers. They've routed, so my general get the rangers out of the way. The general chased down that regiment of foot. You kill that last marine. So let's set everyone else running to. Uh... Oh, there's still an enemy unit. The unit of marines right back here. Field Hutter is doing a good job. Not really necessary, but I'd like to try and destroy the army and not need me to uh, chase it down. So I am going to keep. I'm going to keep playing and fast forward just because the battle's nearly done. Let's be honest. Well, it is done. These marines might cause a bit of a sticking point, but to be honest, it's yeah. Alert, we're not even gonna turn around and chase us after we try and kill their kill their general. They're actually fairly okay with it. Send my pikes to kill them, send my artillery. So my cavalry come after the general, my pikemen will go in and finish off the, the marines. They'll do some damage because they're marines, they're not rubbish. My pikes might even rout, weirdly. Especially, they definitely will if I shoot them with artillery like that. There we go. <laughs> Bit of a drag. But yeah, that was always my, my intention with that army. There. And then... Auto resolve. Is ours. More orders are ready. And they have been destroyed. And now we can replenish and soon we will add some more Sir. troops to fill to fix that. And then over in Eastern Europe. Okay, so again, they got lots of cavalry. Settlement at least you know I've got my clansmen at least. I've got lots of grenadiers. If I take a unit of Dragoons and do that, at least I'll give these guys a bit more cavalry and I might even give them my general because if they attack I can defend in Riga with the fortifications and the army I have. But these guys could do with a bit more support because the territory Yelgava is not um, protected by walls. You're getting troops, you're getting cavalry, but so I think it beho really it behooves me to wait one turn to get a bit of more firepower in the line. Especially as the Prussians might lose against Russia. So let's hit end turn, just one turn. Ah, they found my trade ships. Doesn't matter, I'm about to procure my own spices trade. Uh oh, they're chasing me down. Blub 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 blub. Oh well. Yeah, Prussia, you better get up, because you got a new enemy to the east. So it may or may not be good in the long run to be giving 
uh, Prussia more territory, but they might then continue to push east and cover my front line with the Ottoman Empire. I want I want St. Petersburg, that's what I want, and St. Petersburg is a strong springboard to Moscow. If I can take Moscow, then I would consider that a victory. Aha, they're sallying out at Yelgava, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the first battle against the Russians in, in a couple of episodes. It's pretty good to be back against our old enemy again. Radio. Cheers, everyone.